uh, we don't want any nefarious results, so we'll add Mario to the end of that. Here we go. So it looks like we're going to get a good result here. Second result's fine. Perfect. I don't know if I agree with the color there, but something we'll have control over anyway. Paste that into your document and set the transparency to 30%. Hit enter. So now our goal here is to line up the pixels we see in the picture with the pixels on our canvas. So you can do this with the arrow keys. And this part is going to really kind of be up to you to accomplish. So you'll want to be pretty careful. But at the same time, don't worry, you're not making a mistake uh, if you're not doing it the way you think you should be. Might need to stretch it. And if you want to jump straight into making this pixel art without worrying about this image, um, I'm going to allow you to do that via a download at QuintelDesigns.com. So if you go over to the download section, um, you'll have to sign up for a free account, and you'll be able to get this pixel art template without the hassle of going through all the beginning steps that I just created here. Now let's lock this with Object, Lock, and Selection. And we have our layout for our mushroom. Now the best and easiest part is ahead of us. We can select our big gray boxes that we just made and go into the Live Paint option. What Live Paint is going to do is make this a group of pixels that we can then paint in real time and in groups to really speed up our workflow. So let's first select black as our color and start painting these things and just it's a trace job at this point. Oh, of course, it's telling me everything's going to slow down, and that's fine. You can see here, it's highlighting in red, the live paint. But I'm just going through and painting over this pixel art. Now, those of you who already make pixel art in Photoshop, You'll be much better at this than I am, I'm sure. But uh, I'm just using this more for demonstration purposes. If you're decent with pixel art, um, there's plenty of tutorials out there on the internet. And what those tutorials will teach you is really how to draw and render things and shade them with pixels. But this is more, this tutorial is really more how to achieve that effect with, uh, with Illustrator. And, you know, still have a great vector photograph that you can scale and manipulate without losing quality. The way I remember mushrooms in Mario is having some white in here. And you know what? I think I just decided I want this to be a one-up mushroom. The mushroom where Mario gets an extra life. So we want that dark green. And as you can see, it's just clicking and dragging. So this tutorial is pretty much already done. But uh, we're just kind of going through, showing you the strategy, the technique. Finally, we'll paint inside our mushroom's face with white. Now, you can object, unlock all, delete your image, and yay, we have ourselves a mushroom, a one-up mushroom. And you can use this now for whatever. You've got plenty more grid space to work with, so if you wanted to do something super detailed, you could even make this a 250-inch grid if you wanted and really get massive, massive detail. But the important thing is, if we were to make this in Photoshop, we wouldn't have the ability to blow this up, put effects on it, 
and you wouldn't get that same level of pixel detail uh, up close. And here it is still with the lines on it. I'll shut off the line so you can see that. So there it is without the lines. And this guy looks a little lonely, so let's take our direct selection tool, the white arrow, and select all the stuff we didn't use. And delete it away. Now it's important to use the direct selection tool because if you use, say, the magic wand, you're like, oh, this will grab everything that's gray. It won't actually. What it, what it'll do is will delete your your photograph because it's in that live paint group that we talked about. Delete everything. So mushrooms a little bit better cut out now. Looks like we lost a piece here. Should be black. And I'm just double tapping delete to make sure I get everything. Now, uh, for the sake of showing you guys something fun and cool, I'll bring this over into another document that I made a bit earlier. There it is. This guy looks pretty at home now. Maybe he's even falling from the sky. So there you go. How to create pixel art inside Adobe Illustrator.